Thank you for coming out. Um, we have received a tremendous um, amount of support from people throughout the community. Everywhere we go, people want to take photos with these guys, especially Alan. Um, you know, 50 Shades of Pain is, was just uh, something that came up. We were having dinner and we came up with the idea. And we wanted to celebrate beauty, you know. Um, and a lot of these pieces are just deeper than just new. Some are very interesting. I don't know what's going on in the heads of these guys. But um, a lot of these paintings has um, meanings that come from deep within. Sometimes you could be in a deep sleep and then you just wake up and think about something. That piece that has the, the ten virgins, I don't know <laughs> what <laughs> made me come up with that. But, you know, it just shows the interesting mind of an artist. Thank you, man. I uh, know we appreciate that. Very yes. proud. So, we each of them tonight, I pin you yes. as now official members of Team Bahamas. I'm here the assistant curator of the Central Bank of the Bahamas Art Gallery, Mr. Keith Thompson. How are you tonight? I'm fine. What are your thoughts on tonight's event? I think it's a pretty good show. It's a very big turnout for the bank. Uh, these guys are very talented. Very nice work. And what do you think about the art styles that were showcased? I think it's a, a lot of diversity. Being that uh, uh, Jamal is a portrait artist, so a lot of the work is very portrait style. But then he branched out into something that is much more different than usual. Stefan, we, we know for his airbrush work, but he's also pushing himself to a new level. And then Alan just be an Alan. Yeah. Well, many of you will know him, Mr. Sawyer Boy. How are you doing tonight? I am great. Can't complain. I good. I good. I good. So when you heard about the art exhibition titled Fifty Shades of Paint, what came to mind? Something exotic. Um, no clothes on. Uh, that's a lot of exotic things. That's what I thought about. That's what I thought. I don't think I was too wrong, but... <laughs> Did it so it met your expectations? And more. Like, i still in awe. No, honestly, like, real talk, i still in awe right now. Like, this is... This is marvelous, I ain't gonna lie. This is a whole other level right there. Have you spot your favorite piece tonight? No, I ain't do a full circle yet. But I'm going to see what all, what's going on over there with that big one. Um, but I see one, that one over there. I think I love that one right there. So, so far, that's my favorite. Do you remember the title of that one? No, not at all. I saw the price, though. I saw the price. I saw the <laughs> price. That matters, right? I like it. I like it. Like I like it. But that price is like, okay, that can stay right there. Someone else will get that deal. Yeah. I caught up with Shanae Strawn, who is actually featured in this piece, The Pledge of the Lion. It's by Jamal Rule. Shanae, tell us a little bit about this. So Jamal said, you know, Shanae, let's do some art together. And I said, sure. And we went to the studio. We had some rope. And... This is what we came up with, and 
he took the still photos and he put them to paint. It's now to the end of the art exhibition, 50 Shades of Paint, and I'm here with Jamal Roll and Stephen Davis. How does it feel, guys, to put on such an amazing exhibition? It feels great. Um, we have gotten such a tremendous response. This gave us an opportunity to present parts of us that the world has never seen. Particularly me, I am known as a portrait artist and the editorial cartoonist for the newspaper. But this has given me an outlet to do figure drawings and things that I feel are more creative. As doing portraits doesn't afford me that much room to be creative. And the show has gotten a, a tremendous um, response. I love the pieces that were done by Stefan and Alan as well. I mean, these guys, I don't know what goes in the heads of these crazy artists. But, you know, I appreciate the camaraderie. I appreciate them putting, you know, their heart, mind, and soul into these pieces. Thank you. Steph, so you're known for airbrush art, well, mainly known for that. And tonight, as I look around at your pieces, I've seen so many different art styles. What was it like to step into different elements? Um, I really didn't step into a different element. I, I was just keeping it away from most people. The canvas is actually my first love. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is my first love. But, uh, you know, when I, when I found the airbrush, you know, I, I really focused on um, perfecting that craft and uh, developing it, and, uh, and that was it. But the, the, what you see here tonight, that's a new side of Stefan. So Jamal, which era of art you would say highly influenced some of your pieces tonight? Um, my pieces come from, wow, just being creative. My main piece, which is the Ten Virgins, uh, that was inspired by the Renaissance. People. I love that one, by the way. Sorry for interrupting you. It is amazing. Yeah, thank you. I was channeling my inner uh, Michelangelo with that piece. It featured a lot of... Um, yeah, oh, <laughs> and Christian Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey, oh, you know, with Fifty Shades of Paint. So, I mean, yeah, it's influenced by just what goes on from day to day. Um, my colors, I just choose to place it in strategic places, just depending on how I'm feeling. So, Steph, you know, music and art goes hand in hand. What genre of music would you say highly influenced some of your pieces that are showcased tonight? You know, everything. You know, I listen to everything. Uh, my favorite thing, I know people don't know, but it's African music. I love Afrobeats. I love to listen to up-tempo music. Uh, you know, it keeps the adrenaline going, So, and I need it. So, that's pretty much what I would say. But I listen to everything. Hip-hop, uh, African music, Haitian music, everything. You name it, I listen to it. Soca music. Anything up-tempo, upbeat, yeah. Lastly, Jamal, what feedback were you expecting from tonight's event? And did it, well, I know that it exceeded your expectations, but before the event began, what feedback did you expect? Um, well, I, what the feedback I expected was just for people to be blown away by, you know, the talent from Alan and Stefan, but you know, to see a new side of me, just to see their response. I didn't really know what response, you know, I expected to get, but within this art, I just do wherever the art takes me, and that's where I choose to go with my paint, my paint. and I'm appreciative that people seem to be feeling whatever I do, you know, and so it, it shows that it's, it's, it's a purpose for what I do, and. I have a um, connection with it, and I'm, I'm happy for the support of people from the Bahamas and indeed around the world. Yeah. Right. And Steph, if you can describe your pieces in one word, what would that word be? Wow. That's the word. Wow. <laughs> wow. You can't get more one worded than that. I love it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the art exhibition through those lens. Look out for Trilogy next event participating.